Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah the Brick. The Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, received the President of the International Civil Aviation Organization, Salvatore Sakichiano, in the presence of the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunication, Kamal bin Ahmed Mohammed. His Highness affirmed the cooperation between Bahrain and the ICAO and their keenness to serve their common interests and goals. He praised the role played by the organization in developing international civil aviation and setting standards and regulations that guarantee the security and safety of civil aviation as one of the most important sectors supporting the achievement of sustainable development on a global level. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif al Rashid Zayani, took part in the ministerial meeting of the Global Coalition Against Daesh, which was held in Marrakesh, Morocco. The meeting was co chaired by the Moroccan Minister of Foreign Affairs, African Cooperation, and uh, Moroccans Abroad, Nasser Borita, and uh, the U.S. Under Secretary of State for Political Affairs, Victoria Nuland. The Minister of Foreign Affairs delivered Bahrain's speech at the conference, in which he stressed the importance of continuing the work of the Global Coalition and moving forward to build on its achievements and the need to continue in for or for efforts to achieve the desired goals, including the current focus on the new boards of Daesh in Africa and other regions. He stated that despite COVID and world events, the coalition has demonstrated a fine example of how it has evolved as a global community to adapt to emerging challenges. He added that it is reassuring to see how the experiences gained have been tailored to the African context, which confirms the importance of concerted efforts and joint work among member states by engaging local communities to understand cultural nuisance. He says that at the same time, Daesh is also trying to adapt to its uh, new reality by understanding new breeding and operating grounds and by creating alliances which uh, would like or with uh, like-minded terrorist groups. As Ayani highlighted the importance of discussions among member states in order to expand the scope of work. So n to include uh, other terrorist operations and interlocutors that would be provide Daesh with the support it needs as it strives to recover from its losses and defeats. He said that Bahrain can attest to the danger of terrorism to national and international peace, which requires adopting a comprehensive approach to dealing with terrorist groups and new networks of supporting financing uh, propaganda and ideology, reiterating Bahrain's unwavering commitments to the fight against terrorism of all kinds and its continuous support for international efforts in this field through its membership in the Global Coalition to Defeat Daesh. The Minister of Foreign Affairs met in Marrakech with the Saudi Minister of Foreign Affairs, His Highness uh, Prince Faisal bin Farhan bin Abdullah Al Saud, on the sidelines of the ministerial meeting of the Global Coalition to defeat Daesh. During the meeting, the two sides discussed the strong brotherly bilateral relations under the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia. They also discussed means to promote bilateral cooperation in various fields and intensify cooperation and coordination towards current regional challenges and issues and topics related to the GCC joint action process, in addition to discussing a number of topics and issues of common concern. The Minister of Foreign Affairs also met with the Cypriotic counterpart Ionis Kasoli. The, the, they discussed the bilateral friendly relations and ways to further enhance the cooperation and coordination in all fields. They also discussed political, regional and international developments to achieve peace in the Middle East and Europe in addition to topics of common interest. The meeting was attended uh, by uh, the Bahraini ambassador to Morocco, Khaled al Musallam, and his accompanying delegation. The Minister of Foreign Affairs met with the Croatian Minister of Foreign Affairs and European Affairs, uh, Gordon Glikradman, during the meeting. The two sides discussed bilateral cooperation and means to promote it in various areas of joint interest to serve mutual benefits. They also discussed developments in the regional and international political and security situation and the efforts to establish peace and security in the Middle East and Europe. 
The Minister of Housing, Engineer Basim al Hamar, affirmed that uh, the ministry was keen to include all that is necessary to achieve quality housing for citizens during the preparation phase for Bahrain's housing cities and housing complex projects. The minister noted the ministry's keenness to use the latest building materials and various components of the housing unit and said that the amendments of the units entail the need to adhere to the construction requirements for construction, review the regulatory laws and issue the necessary permits for the modification of housing units in order to achieve the possibility of expansion without harming the safety of housing units and their residents. He added that the ministry has taken steps to guarantee the beneficiaries the right to expand the building area of their units to ensure the safety and quality of their units. He also noted that the ministry worked in coordination with the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning to make amendments to the regulatory requirements for construction in housing areas.